southern Spain is not like Britain. Its towns don't look the same. In its village streets, the sights and sounds are different. And the Spanish are clearly not British. And why is that? Well, whole volumes of books, libraries of books have been written trying to explain the Spanish character in terms of history and geography and climate and politics and the Pyrenees. But so far, not one of those experts has put his finger on the real cause of the trouble. And that's breakfast. No Spaniard ever has a really decent breakfast. It's a miserable affair. A couple of biscuits dunked in a cup of coffee. And when a nation starts its day on a couple of soggy biscuits, there's only one possible result, nibbling. Nibbling on a scale unknown to us. They're a veritable nation of nibblers, but then they need to be. Not only do they neglect breakfast, but nobody has lunch before two. And so to stave off the pangs during that long, hungry morning, they munch away at an endless succession of tidbits, which they call tapas. Bits of sausage, oysters, roes, shrimps, other unspeakable fishy things, olives, prawns, Russian salad. That's just a tiny selection of the vast range of tapas that'll keep them occupied till it's time for lunch at two. After lunch, a short sleep and then a drink. But included in the price of the drink is a tapa, and so they're off again, keeping body and soul together till it's time to dine around about midnight. Life's a running buffet, and if you're going to live it to the full, you can't afford to waste time working. Not today, anyway. Manana, perhaps, or the day after. This nibbling, this bane on the nation's business life, could easily be cured by a good British breakfast. But instead, the evil is spreading. trained pet mice, they're wild ones, but they live in a wine cellar, and it's quite clear that they've picked up the worst possible habits from the men who work here. No one should blame them for nibbling, it's part of their nature. But since they're constantly supplied, not only with a trapeze of tappers, but with wine as well, they've become sadly drunken and decadent. It's the ruinous custom here in Spain that with every tapper there's also a copa, and the result, a race of inebriate mice. You'd never catch a decent British mouse behaving with such abandon. But then in Britain, we set a good example. We eat a decent breakfast.